Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. Today, we are moving on to World 7. Of course, last episode, we got World 6 done. I even had an extra boss fight that we just completed. That was pretty cool, but now we're going even farther up into the sky. Whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh, we're at Bowser's Castle. Usually, that's the eighth world in Mario games, but here, I guess, it's the seventh. I was not expecting this, okay. Well, here we are at Bowser's Castle above the clouds. That's pretty crazy. So we're starting with World, is this called World Castle? It's not even World 7. Interesting. World Castle 1, Fort Fire Bros. All right, so I guess things are getting fired up here. We'll be playing as Princess Peach today as well, so let's see how this goes. Oh boy. Uh, oh wow, it's a lot of blue fire. I like it. I wanna get that fire flower. You know what they say, let's fight fire with fire. There we go. Oh, this looks so cool. I like the visuals to everything so far. But I'm sure that, whoa, things are gonna get a whole lot more difficult from here on out, so I'll do my best, but, hmm. Okay, so while he's over there, oh, I just barely made that. I can get rid of him. There you go, much better. Okay, he's gonna jump over. Just gotta beat him at his own game, right? There it is. We got our first green star for that as well. I'm guessing, yep, I got a block there. Hmm, oh, we got these little spinny things. I remember these. So I wonder, does that mean we're, yeah, I didn't really think about it much. Are we fighting Bowser in today's episode? Is this gonna be like the last part of like, the main story? I'm not really sure. Cause honestly, the game's going by really fast. If so, I'm sure there's gonna be special worlds and stuff too, but oh boy. I don't know though, that's like really weird. Either way, let's move over here. I wonder if we're supposed to, well maybe. We can use that. Oh, there we go, there we go. So what's up here then? Oh, there's a pipe. There we go. Oh, it's one of these puzzles again. This was really weird last time. So how it works is when we jump. So, so I think I want it to fall down that way, and then I'll sort of like smack it. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, okay, there we go, first try and everything. Not too bad. Okay, two green stars, and we already got the stamp. We are just looking for the third green star. So let's just stay up here for right now if we can. Seems safer. Oh, there it is, okay. Ooh, ooh, oh, no, and right on top of them, beautiful. Okay, so let's do our best to grab these. Uh, I wanted to hit this, but maybe not worth worrying about right now. Oh no, running out of time. We got it. Okay, very good, very good. I'll grab some extra coins while we're at it. Gotta, you know, try to keep making as many lives as I can. I'm sure the game's gonna get more difficult soon enough, so having more lives, no matter how many we have, I'm sure will be a good idea. Oh boy, got a bunch of Koombas. I missed my shots on them. And there's a fire rose on top of them. There we go. He's really trying to get me right now. I'm gonna wait for him to jump one more time. There we go. Very good. Got it. And I think we're at the end of the level. Okay, so we actually went through, the, through this first one. Oh gosh. Let me not speak too soon. There we go. Went through this first one without too much of an issue at all. Very nice. All right. I'll take it. Okay, it would be very interesting if this is the final world of the game, we fight Bowser, if we do that as Peach, because you know, usually Peach is the one we're saving against Bowser. There we go, get Mario with a fireball as that stamp. And that's the first level of this world done. Really good first impression. It was a tough world, or a tough level, but like a, a fun one to get through. We got two levels here. I think this one to the left will be World Castle 2. Switch, switch back ruins, did that say? Switch black ruins. Okay. Huh, oh, maybe we're like switching the lights on and off. Gotcha. All right, well, definitely I'm trying to try to like walk around and get a good lay of the land, but that's where the fireball is actually really useful because it can light up the path for us. And there's another one. Oh boy. Okay, let's get rid of that spiny if we can. Then all we have to do is press all these buttons. And that definitely lights the room up a whole lot more. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. I like the variety of like different puzzles and challenges we run into in this game so far. Really fun that way. Ooh. 
definitely want to light up anything like that. Oh no, not what I wanted. There we go. It's fine. Oh no. Hold on. Uh. I'm gonna use my floaty jump with Peach. Easy enough to do that, right? Looks like that's it for that room. Haven't found any collectibles just yet. And there's one right there. So there we go. <laughs> nice. I agree, Peach, I agree. Hmm. All right, apparently we're already halfway through this level. I mean, typically checkpoints are halfway, not always. Ooh, what's down here though? There's another green star for us. Awesome. Okay, so green stars haven't been too bad. Still looking for the stamp though. Oh boy. Let's try to avoid him. Oh no, I hit both of the at once, I suppose. Got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Watch it. Oh, here's a couple more torches to light up. I'm sure there'll also be one, yep, on that side. They're not so happy about that. Hmm. Oh, there's even more. I was like, hmm. Didn't really get anything done, but it was worth a try. Oh my. Uh. Doesn't look like I'm missing anything. Is this platform gonna move? Yep, okay. So that looks like a place to go, but what about this? Aha, we get a stamp. Thank you very much. Oh wait, I missed some coins. I wanna get them. Oh boy, gotcha. There it is. Yeah, it really is fun using Peach's like floaty mechanic. Come on, almost got you. Oh no! If the other two fireballs don't disappear, you can't throw out any more. So I can't just like constantly throw out a bunch of fireballs. But as you can see, once those disappear, I can throw out another two. That's what you gotta sort of be careful of with fireballs. And it's like that, and like I think like all, oh no! Oh wait, wait, can I go back? I just saw where the, ah, oh, I'm so silly. I saw where the green star was supposed to be. Okay, no big deal. At least now I know what to do for it. So I'll probably just run to the end of the level again. But hey, for right now, we got everything else pretty well. I mean, that's to be expected to make a mistake like that a couple of times. Just gotta move slower. Make sure that I'm very clear that everything around me is completed before I jump into a pipe. But there we go, get a little spiny, spiny badge. That's pretty cool. And I think that's probably gonna unlock some kind of like maybe a mushroom hut or something. Yep, all right, I caught it. All right, well, we're making our way through this world actually quite quickly, it seems. Okay, well, before we tackle any of that, let me go back into this one and get the third green star. All right, here I am again. I don't think I, I mean, maybe I, do, oh, okay, no, I don't. I was gonna say, maybe I do need a power up to get up here, but we got it. I'll do the little, yeah, there we go, the butt slam jump. There's the third green star. Okay, it wasn't too bad. I just had to not be silly and move forward without actually needing to, or at least not being ready to. But that's all right, we got it done this time. Now we're just gonna move on to the next level. All right then, so with that being done, I mean, I could probably save these items until I need it. And like I said, I, I wanna start doing these more often, but I've done them so many times on camera now, and I don't think that we need to show them every time. We'll move on to World Castle 3, Red Hot Run. This one seems interesting. So everything has been very lava fire themed so far. Honestly, thematically, ooh, we got 100 seconds to do this one. Not very much time. Oh, this looks like fun. Oh boy. Run, Peach, run. But thematically, this, oh no, might be the most consistent world we've experienced so far. Uh, usually most of them, like, they'll have like one or two levels that sort of fit the theming of the actual world, but then the rest of them, oh no! <laughs> Thought I could make that jump. Not quite, I did get the first green star there though, so that's nice. But usually, you know, the levels sort of vary after that anyways. But with this so far, every one of them has been very fiery themed, just like the world itself. Ah, oh, that's sort of hard to do with Peach. I don't know if Peach is the best character for this one, to be honest with you. I mean, luckily, all the characters when they're running fast can sort of turn on a dime, and that's good. There we go, let's launch. Oh, I got some green stars to get this time. There we go. Got it. And I gotta wrap around one more time to get the green star itself. Not too bad so far. We're looking for a badge and a green star. Oh, there's the badge. Where's the green star? Right over there. Oh no! <laughs> right on a momentum at the worst time though. 
Okay, that's fine. Just one more time, we'll get that green star. It'll be easy. Try my best to sort of go the path that's gonna give me the least issues. There you go. Oh, Rhino, I'll speed there for a second. This one gives me some extra coins, which is nice. And I can ignore this this time. Just needed to get it the one time. So I just gotta go straight here. That's it. That's it. There we go. No damage taken so far, let's keep it that way. Oh no, but did I take the right pipe? I don't think I did. Oh no, I did, I did, I did. Okay, we're fine. And there we go. <laughs> Very fortunate. So there we go, all three green stars, the stamp, and the uh, golden flagpole. So a very interesting level. I like those kind of things that mix it up like that though. Lots of fun. All right, and that got us, I wasn't looking at <laughs> what badge it gave us there, but it gave us a badge. And 181, so what will this level be? Oh, okay, this one will be a Sprixy house. So this will give us another new stamp. Might as well grab that. We really are filling up the page quite a lot. So I'm gonna guess this will be the Sprixie we see the last episode. Yep, the blue one. And we're good to keep moving. So what do we got next? Got everything done sort of on this level. It looks like, actually, okay, there's sort of more between here and there than I thought. So it looks like there's probably, including this one, four more levels of tackle. So let's check out World Castle 4, Boiling Blue Bully Belt. <laughs> a bit of a tongue twister, but we got it. So I guess there'll be bully, bullies that we can push into the, the boiling blue. These platforms are interesting. So definitely, if we can get some fire flowers, that'd probably be the most useful thing. Maybe I could have used a mushroom hunt. Cause like, I can sort of bump into them. And that works. One more time, one more time. But the fireballs are the easiest way to do it. But we probably wanna make sure that we do get rid of them all. Because, Okay, that doesn't really work for these guys. They're dry bones, though. I think this is our first time seeing dry bones in this game. But because there have been levels in the past where getting rid of bullies has gotten us, oh no! That's not what I wanted, but it's gotten us a green star. So we just gotta look around for that a little bit. Okay, let's try again. Why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> okay, this time, just gonna ignore all that. Oh no, oh no, there we go. With some extra speed, it's not that bad. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh man, I just gotta take my time. You know, this is one of those slow and steady wins the race kind of levels, I can already tell with these platforms. You just gotta find the rhythm with it. There's no need to be silly like I'm being right now. I don't think they'll follow me on these platforms. Oh no, they will. Oh no, you will, all right. Okay, let's get rid of that guy. Well, he is still chasing me right now. Get him out of here. So look at how much easier that is. Okay, I definitely want these extra coins now. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. So let's wait a moment, wait for the platforms to sort of catch up, because these ones move quite quickly. Almost there, almost there. Okay, and just, oh! It just makes a green star wherever you finish collecting the coins. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I'm gonna slam on this guy just to get him out of here. And let's talk to this little Sprixie. So I do see a green star out that way. I don't see any more of that. Okay, well on top of that cylinder. Good to go. Well, I wonder if, whoa. Yeah, okay, we can. No, wait, 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 wait. That's not what I meant to do. This is a really tough level so far, for sure. Oh wow, it gave me the golden, I don't wanna take that, but I guess if you die enough times, it'll give you the t golden Snooky Leaf in case you need an easier time. That's cool and everything, I'm sure I'll show it off at some point, but for right now, not too interested, I just wanna play level normally. Okay, that's all I wanted to do before. Just sort of messed up, there's our stamp that. Gotta be quick with that. I'm sure there's gonna be something interesting on top one of these, right? So far, no. Oh, okay, here we go, mystery box. Which means that other green star is gonna be our third one. Okay, quickly, get rid of him, get rid of him, got him. See, look at how nice and simple that is with the fire flower. Always worth having for that. 
Okay. We're almost there. We made it, we made it. And here's our checkpoint too, so as long as we get that, we don't have to worry about dying as much. Oh no! Whoa! <laughs> Once again, I'm rushing it a little too much. We'll send that guy flying. Because honestly, Peach is probably one of the best characters for this level, just because you can have that slower, more controlled jump. Yeah, the green star was on top of one of these cylinders. Here it is, ooh. Oh gosh. Got it. Oh no. We're fine, we're fine. Ooh, you almost got hit from that one. But there we go, that should be everything in the level as long as we get this golden flagpole. We got some bullies standing in the way though. Come on, get him out of here, get him out of here. Whoa, this platform tilts. Oh no, oh no, cool, that's not fair. Ah, darn. Okay, I'm gonna try to take this guy out as fast as I can, then turn on one of these guys, because they sort of got me surrounded before. That's it, that's it. Uh, jump over him. There we go, much better. This is one of the most challenging levels yet. So easy to die in all this. Okay, let's be quick before these platforms disappear. And I got it. All right. Took a good couple of tries. Even saw our first option to make the level easier with the golden Tanuki suit. Didn't take it, got the level done the old fashioned way by dying a lot. But uh, we also get a little brick block as a uh, stamp there. Simple, but classic. And that's actually gonna be that level or this like sort of portion of it done. We got a staircase up the next area. Oh, there's gonna be another little boss fight. But I do notice, oh, there's two boss fights. To the right here, there's another little rock thing, which yep, as per usual, leads to a pipe. And there's another fight, okay. This time we got uh, Fire Bros hideout number four. Let's give it a try. Okay, so. Hmm, got 100 seconds, that's a lot of Fire Bros. And that's, oh no, not good. That's really not good. Come on, I'm running out of time in a major way right now. Got him. Oh no, okay, I can I can jump on the rest of them. Actually, my bouncing fireball got rid of the other one. And the time still goes down if I collect coins. So let's not be greedy, let's just grab that. All right, well, could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, we're up to 185 green stars, almost 200, which is pretty crazy. I think that's gonna be it for this area. Got all these gears down here now. Very interesting, I guess this is like the inner workings of the castle. I'm gonna go and get some extra items out. Hopefully we choose the right one. I think I'm gonna go for the big present this time. Yeah, all right. Uh, so yeah, we'll get cat suit and leaf suit. Sorry, boomerang, maybe some other time. All right then, so we can get back to the normal levels here. Which one do we want to tackle first? We've got A and B. So obviously let's go with A first. Uh, Brawler Blockade is back. That was a little bit of a crazy fight last time. We'll see how it goes this time. Okay, whoa. Yeah, I can just give that a toss. I might want to switch over to the cat suit because it's a more easily accessible item. I can get that from plenty more levels. I don't think I can touch any of these fiery guys. I just gotta sort of avoid them. Well, we got one hit on him pretty quickly. We just gotta keep that up. We know how this guy works. We defeated him once before. It's just more difficult now. Oh no, not what I wanted. Come on, ready, catch. Oh, but I got hit by two. Tried to squeeze through there, but. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I, I just gotta hit him one more time. I just need somebody to hit him with. Oh, there they are. So do I need to jump on them when I don't have? Whoa, hold on, there it is. Just barely able to turn it around on them. That was a little intense. But there we go, we do it. There goes the Brolder, apparently, was his name. That one was definitely a lot more difficult. Okay, now we can tackle the second fight, which was with the little, <laughs> this is the little tin can guy that we squeezed through the pipe. He's looking a little dizzy. That's gonna lead to the next level, which I'm sure we'll tackle after. This one, World Castle B, Prince Bully Blockade is back, just like the Brolders. 
So before we pushed him into the pipes and that would like turn him into a tin can. Like maybe we'll do the same thing here. I thought this would be so much easier. Oh no, I missed it. Okay, I can just bump into him now. Okay, interesting. And there he is. And then I just kick him. Fascinating, all right. This works differently than I thought it would. So watch out for the, oh gosh, they moved towards you. There we go, there we go. Boop, gotcha, one more time. Nice. Okay, we just gotta do that to him once more and we'll get him, but we just gotta be very, very careful. That was good. Okay, okay, that was actually really good angling for that. And boom, we got him. So I took more damage from this one, but I do feel like it's sort of, once you know what to do and how to do it, it is an easier fight. Tiny Peach is so cute. All right then, so there we go, we got both of them done. Okay, well, which level are we going to first? I think the one on the left, because I would I would imagine that the boss fight that has, you know, starts with A, you know, boss fight A would lead to the previous level more than boss fight B would. Yep, and we're right. So, World Castle 5 is gonna be, I didn't read the title, Trick Trap Tower. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so I probably should have gotten some items. I have nothing right now. If we die, though, I guess we'll start with normal size peach, which would be nice. Hmm. But I see what's going on here. It's like this interesting little tower full of little traps. We're sort of locked in. Hmm. Okay, let's quickly go by. That was a little risky. But I guess we're supposed to go up this way so that we can get on top of them. Anything up there, though? Not looking like it. Oh no, oh no. Okay, well we got a couple of extra coins. For a second, I thought we were gonna get squished there. We can make this jump, right? Oh, you just barely fit in there. I wonder if it, that's actually a thing, is Peach you know, like a little taller than Mario, is that gonna make certain jumps a little more difficult to fit into? There we go. I don't know how much the character size comes into play for their actual, like, platforming. There we go. Oh, and I got us a green star. Okay, that's cool. Oh, wait, we missed one. Where? Actually, it looks like there's something. Aha! Okay, yeah, here is the stamp, and here's the green star. I don't know when I was supposed to find those things, but I found them now. That's good, so I guess I just gotta make my way back up again. Well, we know the way to do it now, so hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. I can just wait right here for now, right? Oh no, I wanna quickly, quickly, quickly. I <laughs> do not wanna get squished. Okay, well we can make our way up there super fast. Now we can take the little I guess it's sort of like an elevator. I mean, we're, we're sort of going down more than we're getting elevated. The de-elevator, the, the descending, right? Elevating and descending, the descendilator. So we gotta get keys to go into this little thing here. Oh, can I take these guys out if I jump on them? Boop, just like that, yes I can. And I really want another power up, but I'm not getting one right now. Honestly, yeah, we're doing quite well considering, oh my. Uh. We did, didn't have any power-ups at all so far this level. We started a small peach. Wait, there we go, we gotcha. Oh no! I didn't think he'd be moving uphill like that. That was a little weird. And I don't know if I can destroy these. Oh, I need to be bigger. I might have just gotten oh, hit at the worst time. Weird. Okay, and there's the box. Wait a minute, oh no. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, this is a major problem. I, I gotta get into here though. I might just have to die and, well, it doesn't look like it's oh, too much of my choice. But I gotta get back over there as Big Peach so that we can actually, you know, get what we need from there. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. So now I can roll through. And I guess go this way? There it is. That's not too bad. And now I just gotta sort of 
I wanna get rid of these guys now. Okay, that doesn't work, I thought it would. Uh, I wanted to get rid of them now so that hopefully I don't run into them on the way back. Okay, I just missed one at the very beginning is all. But that should be fine. Now we gotta run. The evil purple goo of doom falling upon us. Wow, it moves fast too. There we go, ooh, but we move faster. Whoa, there it is. That wasn't too bad. We got it figured out. Now we're at the very tippity top. We can get the golden flagpole. Gotta make sure I don't mess this jump up. Whoop, there it is. All right then, we got it figured out. So that was, once again, one of the more difficult levels we've run into. This world does not pull any punches against us. We need more power-ups so badly, though. And there we go, we get a little comic badge, or stamp. Not too bad. So what is that gonna unlock to the left? I'm curious. Okay, a pipe to somewhere. And also, um, another level. So we'll tackle this one in just a moment. Might as well check out where the pipe is gonna lead to. Oh, it's to a Captain Toad level, that's awesome, okay. We're here, we might as well get this one done. World, castle, Captain Toad, Captain Toad gets thwomped. I sure hope not. All right then, so let's figure this out. Time for adventure. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, so as per usual, there's green stars everywhere. So far the Captain Toad levels actually haven't been too difficult. Oh, there's like conveyor belts. So I'm guessing, yeah, we don't quite move fast enough to go that way. We have to go this way. And that was the first one. I'm glad I was able to get that, or I would have had the loop all the way around. And I guess we'll move, move, move. I'm just trying to observe everything I can. Aha. Because right there, that corner is right where we started. Weird. So I guess I'm supposed to go on top of this guy. He'll lift me up. I can go up here. Whoa, I almost got squished. That would have been bad. But here, is green star number two. Besides that, it's a sort of a bit of a dead end. Hmm. I wish I could zoom in a little. But I guess I'm supposed to go up this way. I cross real fast. We got it. Oh, and there's another green star waiting for us. Just like that. I'll wait for these bull pills this time. So two more green stars, one of them is right here. Ooh, a risky little fall there. Don't know if I quite need to do that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what we, what we gotta do for this one. Go on top of the swamp, get brought up, and then just go against this little, uh, it's almost like a tightrope. Oh my gosh, a little bridge there. Not much room for error. But there we go. That was all of them. So that one was a lot more treacherous, but honestly wasn't that much more difficult. The Captain Toad levels are really easy in this game so far. But they're a lot more challenging in the actual Captain Toad game. We already completed all that. So maybe I just have enough experience to get through all that just fine. That'll be 195 green stars. We're getting really close to 200. So I'd like to go to the next level now, but I might look around a little bit to see if I can't find some items somewhere, because I really need them. All right then, so we're good to go. On to World Castle 6, Rammerhead Reef. Ooh, so we gotta get on a water themed level. This one might break the theming a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But it still could be like fiery lava theme, but still be underwater. I feel like the, the ocean underneath the volcano or something like that, I don't know. I mean, usually there's like hot magma, magma at the bottom of the ocean, right? Something like that. Not, you know, much of a marine biologist, but maybe one day I'll learn more. Wouldn't mind. Yeah, we got all these rammerheads swimming around. It probably would be good to get one fire flower. Will that take these guys out though? I wonder. Nope, just a little bit of a tickle to them. But that's fine, we don't really need to fight them, we just need to, whoa, the bloopers though! Get them out of here! No, wait, no, wait. <laughs> we don't need to fight the Rammerheads, we just need to know where they're going to so that we can avoid them. Leave them be in their natural habitat. The bloopers are out to get me though. Gotta be careful of that. I guess we'll switch to the cat suit right now. You think it wouldn't work so well in water. You know, usually cats don't like water too much. They don't like to swim. This is working just fine. Oh my, ooh, duck and cover. See, I can't quite go up the, the way they they pop out. That was like a little bit of like a current going on. 
But we did get our first green star there quite easily. Okay, so I don't know exactly ooh, which way we're supposed to go, but I certainly want that power up. Looks like I might just have to follow their their uh, their rhythm here. Which is fun. Oh, there's the green star. Right there, right there. Come on. Oh, I missed it. Wait, wait, wait. Come back, come back. There it is. I can pop it. So I basically just have to go through again and look for the stamp as well. Never know where that might be. Okay, so I can still butt slam in the water. I don't think any of these armor heads actually have the stamp, but what I'm looking for is maybe some secret areas down here that might have it. So it looks like we can go even farther down. <laughs> he sort of laughed a little bit. It really is tickling him. Okay, we get some extra time for going on this way, but not too much more. Now we're back to where we started. Okay, well, it was worth a try. Oh my gosh, I was close. Uh, but I'm, I have a feeling then that the stamp is not here. Okay, I wanna leave the mushroom be. I just don't wanna get hit. Going all over the place. Wouldn't it be very good to try to get a mushroom and get hit in the process, would it? Sort of defeats the purpose of a mushroom. There we go, we made it. So we gotta find one more green star and one more stamp. Whoa. Okay, and, then, and the lava's returned. Okay, so what's going on here? We got this interesting little Pond, but a lot of these little tadpole looking fish, they're, they're still very uh, violent. Oh no, whoa, that was weird. Okay, but hopefully those, the, the, the turtle shell, will hit some of these guys. We got them though, they're actually not too bad. I do see a lot of marks on the, oh, on the floor. Hopefully one of these leads to Either a green star or a stamp. I'm running out of time to get these coins. I didn't get any of them. Oh well, it's fine. Back over here though, there was at least one more. And that got me a fire flower. I mean, that's fine, not complaining. I'm just concerned that I've, I've missed some major stuff. Really hope that's not the case, but we'll see. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, certainly there doesn't seem to be anything more I can do besides Slamming down this pipe. And we're going back into the water. That was just like a weird little intermission, I suppose. Whoa, not the bloopers again. I'm so tired of the bloopers, and this is like the first level they've been in in this game. Any amount of bloopers is too many bloopers, gotta be honest. They're a very difficult enemy to deal with. Okay, so we'll grab these coins. Not too bad. Oh boy. And there it is, oh, I can't do it from this way, not without getting hurt. What I do need to do, go up here. Much better. Then we can go to the pipe and get on. And that's all the green stars, we're just missing the badge. Wait, where do I go? I go up here, go, 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 go! Oh, I just barely got hit by it. See, I guess for this one, oh my. We just go down this pipe. Huh. Still not quite seeing, not the blooper. Not the blooper, have mercy. Okay, no items there. Oh, he's turning around. He's out to get me. Oh, you know what? What if it's, oh no, I'm running out of time too? This is all kinds of bad. Um, swim up here real quick. Boom, get that. Explodes a bunch of stuff. We'll get a fire flower out of it. That's great, but it's not the, the badge. I'm panicking here. Uh, I think we're going to go up. How much of this level's left? I don't know. I'm trying to be thorough, there it is. Okay. So our thoroughness worked out in some ways, but if we run out of time and die, not gonna be the most fortunate thing. Oh no, I can't squeeze through. I took some damage, not the end of the world. Come on, is this the end of it? It is, phew. So I could worry about all of that over there. But why would I do that when I can just, whoop, whoop. There we go, that's why it's always great to have a katsu on reserve. Okay, we did it on the first time through. Great stuff. Very challenging water level, but 
Like I said, we got it done. And that is going to be a little blooper stamp for us, just to remind us of how lethal they are. Okay, and that gets us up to 198. So this next level should get us up to over 200 green stars. And we get another one of these. I, I did a couple of these when I was going to go get items before. All right then, so let's tackle World Castle 7, Simmering Lava Lake. So before we were just swimming in water, are we swimming in lava this time? I mean, I'd prefer not to. Ooh. Okay, so the lava sort of has like a raising and lowering current to it. That's interesting. And it's coming back up, yep. Oh, what's up here? Oh, we got uh this. Oh no, probably should grab that. Where is it? Oh no, might be too late. Oh, but we get a boomerang. Interesting. I don't think we missed anything just yet. But Peach looks really cute in the boomerang up. I think this is the first time we've seen this. I like how our ponytail packs up, but pokes out at the back of the helmet. There it is. Oh my, oh my. I don't see too much more going on over there. Oh, we do have these guys, which we sort of fought before in that one boss fight, but this is the first time they're showing up in a level. And that is the first green star. And they're just gonna roll off. Well, thank you for making that easier for me. Oh no. Uh, oh no! Oh no! I thought that, I thought it wouldn't raise that high. Oh boy. All right, well since we already got that green star, don't gotta worry about it. Just gotta make our way over here. And this was actually perfect timing because the lava just lowered. Ooh, all right. How are we doing this? Ah, oh, the, the little trail of fire there hurt us. Gotta be careful for that one. And that's all eight of them. Okay, I think we're gonna move forward here. Trying to watch the top of the foot, the, the pipe. Because, uh, wow, those guys are so cool. Because we've found some secrets there before. Hmm. Oh, I do see right under that thing. We'll get that as soon as the lava lowers, but I, thought I saw another stamp. And there's another boomerang as well. Right down here. Very sneaky, but we got it. So now we're just looking for one more green star. I wonder, ooh, we got surrounded there. Maybe it was this way? What is all this about? Yes, it is. Oh gosh, that's not the only thing waiting for us over here though. Oh no, oh, oh. Oh, darn. I sort of got a little mixed up with the perspective there. I thought the platform was closer than it was. Objects may appear, or maybe closer than they appear, I suppose. But this this one, it was, it was farther than they appear. Okay, so at this point, I just need to get to the end of the level, which should be this way. Yep, I think we just gotta go through this pipe. Oh boy. Forget what those guys are called. I think they're called Blarks. These, these weird little fire dragons popping out. And I'll switch over to the cat suit just in case for this one. Yeah, I knew that was gonna pop up. Very intense level. You don't wanna take a swim in that lake, that's for sure. All right then, so uh, I think that means we're good to tackle the castle now. We'll have to wait and see. That gets us the boomerang stamp. And yeah, look at that. Gets us over 200 green stars, 201 in total. And this big scary castle is waiting for us next. Oh my. Yeah, let's take a look at the, uh, oh no. Yeah, okay. First I got thought we missed something. But the only thing that we have next is World Castle Castle. All right, so let's tackle what might be the final level of the game. We need 130 green stars, we have 201. So that's more than enough to have it covered. Let's give this a try. Oh boy. So one last Brixie to save, the red one. Bowser's Lava Lake Keep. Bowser is World Castle Castle. A little redundant. I mean, I guess it's World Bowser Castle Castle. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be, but here we go. Oh, pretty intense so far. So I think just like the first castle will be fighting Bowser, which is interesting. How many castles we've gone through, but how few times we've actually fought Bowser in this game. 
There we go, we got rid of that guy. Then over, oh, this way. Not too bad. We get a boomerang for that. I already have a boomerang, so I'll hold on to what I got. Ooh, but I do see down there. How do I get that? I guess I could. Isn't there a way to, yeah, I could go down the wall. Ooh. It's a little weird, but I can definitely do that. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but it's what I did. Or to acquire, whoa, these guys are new. Oh, they spin. Actually, maybe they're not new, I can't remember. We got the soccer balls, so they're back. Ready, boom. That was a pretty good kick. Gives us the button to press and everything. And that lowers the drawbridge. And there's a badge waiting for us, or a stamp. <laughs> Whatever they're supposed to be. I'll never get it right the first try. Oh, here's a fire bro. So far the catsuit's really useful for this. Whoa. That was bad though. And there goes my catsuit. So I guess I spoke a little too soon. Should have been more careful. And now I don't have anything. Hmm. It's fine though, it's fine. We got our checkpoint. I keep making things work. Oh, but I'm gonna need, need it for here. So hopefully we can find another one soon then. I'm not the backtrack or something. What's this about? Aha, here we go. All right, let's go back over there then. Gotta be very careful. Much more difficult to, I don't even know if that's possible, it is, but geez, that was close. And there we go. Wait a minute, that's not even, okay, that's weird. Ah, oh, darn, so where's the second one? I'm missing all kinds of stuff around here, apparently. Huh. Maybe on top of here or something? No, hold on. Not looking like anything from there. I am super confused on where it could be. Because it wasn't too far before this that we found the first green star. Oh, and there's this boomerang still showing out here. Well, that's useful but I'm still highly confused. I don't think it, it can be anything with that on. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, so I do need the cat suit for that, for sure. There's no way I can get up there right now, so I guess I'll have to leave that one be. That's a shame, but at least we know. Oh gosh, there we go. I can go through the level normally for right now. Ow, and get hit for the millionth time. Oh no, we'll be careful. It's unfortunate that I'll have to replay through the level, but it's fine. It's not too far into the level. I don't think this level's super long, it doesn't seem. Oh gosh, they're hopping around. Oof, wait a minute. Do I have to get rid of these guys to actually be able to move forward? Oh no! <laughs> Yikes. So if I'm not silly, this actually isn't too bad at all. There's the one boomerang. He's gonna jump over somewhere, and I'm gonna hit him. Oh, there it is! And then once I get rid of those guys, the platform forward moves up. Okay, and I'm guessing that has to be the end of the level, right? I don't know, oh, that's right, it's the castle. We should be running to a boss fight. Oh, is it gonna be Bowser on his car again? You bet it is, he's back from the shop, he's got it souped up. Whoa, it's, it's a lot more shiny now. All right. Well, let's see if his uh, new wheels here gonna get him where he's trying to go. Ready? Boom! Wait, what? That was weird. I was trying to give it a kick. Why didn't that work? Wait, why is that? Isn't that normally what I do? I'm. I'm very confused. Isn't that what I normally do? Is kick the soccer balls? What? Okay, this time I'll be extra careful. I got the boomerang, so I'll just launch him out the soccer balls. If that works, it works, right? I'm so confused though, because I even tried to jump on it the last time. I'm pretty sure that's what I would do previously though, is I would just kick him. I mean, this is not what you do here. Here, like that works, it's fine. So weird. Um, hmm. He's barely moving forward on this one. I mean, really isn't wise. Okay, see that one just exploded. So odd. Uh, there we go. Uh, 
really not wise to be moving or driving his car while he's not at the wheel. You gotta have both hands on the wheel, Bowser. You even have a license? I guess he's sort of the king of his kingdom, right? He is King Koopa, King Bowser. Maybe he sets all the rules, he automatically gets a license. That's not very safe, not a really good driving role model for his Koopa citizens, but. Who am I to judge? I'm not, I'm not in his kingdom. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. We're damaging his car quite a lot here, though. He's gonna have to get a whole new paint job after this one. So far, this boss fight's like oddly slow. I think with him driving on a car, he'd be a little bit faster. I wonder if I can just hit him. Oh, does that actually do damage? Hold on, might be able to speed this up myself. I just gotta be careful when I do this. Okay, he's throwing soccer balls again. There we go. He's getting into a little bit of a fender bender with these exploding soccer balls. Okay, that's, it definitely is like, it makes it flash red a little bit. It makes the noise as if he's taking damage. So I can only assume that's that's working. The, the closer I get, the, the, the faster I'll move. But with that, I gotta be careful. I need some space to actually get these soccer balls back. Only throws them at the worst time. There we go, we got him with that one. Oh, and that's it. Oh, no, no, it's not it. I thought we sent him flying into the lava there for a second. I guess it just sort of starts over again. If this is working now, I'm gonna keep doing this. How many times do we have to hit for it to register? Five times, I think. Let's do another five, then that was one. I can't see too much what's going on here. Two, three, four. Oh! Oh, that missed him. There it is. I'm not done yet, though. Four and five. There we go, we don't even need the soccer balls. We took him out with a boomerang. Oh, see ya. Looks like he needed a boat more than he needed a car. See ya. Is this really it, though? Is Bowser actually defeated now? I don't know, this might be the last world. If so, it was a little bit of a weird final boss. Just like the first boss. But I don't know, it looks like all the Sprixes are here. Okay, well definitely we'll have to redo this level because of course we missed the one green star. But look, all the Sprixes are here, all the ones we've saved so far. So I guess there's seven in total. There we go. Go for it, we got it. So at least we got the golden flagpole, every Sprixie is saved. Oh, thank you, you're welcome. Good job, everybody. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait a minute. He's pulled the level back. Oh gosh. Uh. Oh no. He put them all in the same jar this time. You get back here. Oh my, what in the world is going on? Maybe once they're all combined, it becomes much more powerful. There's Boomerang Mario as our badge, or stamp, whatever it's called. What is going on? Well, it looks like there's a pipe to the next world, whatever that's gonna be. I'm really, really curious, but right now, we have to let that curiosity simmer for a bit. We gotta get the second green star in this level. Okay then, so I have to go get the cat suit. Obviously it'll be worth it though, because we can just climb up here and boom. Really don't see if there was you know, any other way to get this without the cat suit though. So it was worth doing that. The only problem now is I gotta recomplete the entire level to get that done, I'm pretty sure. All right, there we go, that took me a lot of tries. I don't know what it was, I just kept messing up on the Bowser fight. And for whatever reason, it wasn't letting me keep the soccer balls like I used to be able to in the first one. I don't know what was with that, but as you can see, all of World Castle is completed. What is after this, I'm not really sure, but I guess we'll be finding out in the next episode of Super Mario 3D World. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.